Hey guys, we're back again. This is day three of the 2011 Lifestyle Summit, the last day, and I have with me a summit favorite, a lifestyle favorite as well, Daryl Nagel. Welcome back, Daryl. Thank you, and it's wonderful to be here. That's awesome. How's the summit been going? Awesome. It's really been fantastic. It's lovely to catch up with the clients and uh, other, such lovely people. Some really great ideas. Yeah. yeah. I always learn something new every time I come to a summit, and uh, for me, it's a, a very special. Uh, uh, three days on the calendar. That's great. So today you were talking to everybody about a paradigm shift on trading psychology. Yes. What does that mean in just one sentence? Well, <laughs> besides that one. Yeah, besides that <laughs> one. Well, it, it's really being aware of the fact that we have expectations with an individual trade. Mm -hmm. It's understandable, but we really would like it to be profitable, which yeah. is understandable. We don't want it to be unprofitable. But I think it can undermine us because so the paradigm shift is about, number one, being aware mm -hmm. of the expectations we have of a particular trade, and then say to myself, what action can I take to change that expectation? Right. And to me, I was saying in the, uh, in the session that we perhaps can use the trade sheet to journal, first of all, what those expectations are, so that, number one, we're aware of them, because yeah. sometimes we're just not aware of you know, what our expectations are. We've got an inkling, mm -hmm. just like with our words, you know, we're mm -hmm. always aware of what we say. So once we know that, hey, I've got expectations on this particular trade, mm -hmm. then it's really going back to what is it that I should really now be focusing on rather than the, the expectation of money or whatever the market's going right. to do. And so for me, it's to look at my edge. Yep. So if I've got an edge in my trading and the trading plan actually gives me my edge, so it's by cutting the losses, letting my wins run, okay. and by following the signals. And so to me, it's becoming aware of our expectations, which mm -hmm. I think really do undermine us because we, we can't help having expectations. Yep. It's natural and normal in life. We wouldn't function if we didn't have, have them. But for a trader, I think they undermine. Okay. Now, in the session, you also said to everybody to repeat to themselves that I will have no expectations to the result of a trade. Correct. So is it better as a trader to have that mindset of having no expectation and no speculation and sticking to your strategy and sticking to your plan instead? Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. So that's to be aware of that, to be aware of yeah, and, and repeating it because it, you've, sometimes we lapse into you know, habits, so it's habitual yeah. to have expectations. Mm -hmm. And so we can come along to a, a workshop and say, oh yeah, that's right, yeah, I shouldn't have expectations, but then we lapse into our, our, yeah. our usual pattern. So if we can have something that enables us to repeat it so we can put it up on our trading uh, room, mm -hmm. you know, this, I won't have any expectations, or even putting it on our trading plan itself, uh, which we should always look at before we take a trade. That's great. Now, the other thing you touched on as well is that trading is a, it's a bit of an emotional roller yes. coaster. There's a lot yes. of ups, there's a lot of downs. Yes. So if, you, if you're in a trade and you see it going up and you see it yes. going down, up and down, yes. as a trader, how do you control your emotions or how do you take hold of your emotions so that you don't get out too quickly or you, you just stick to the plan without getting too caught up in it? Well, yeah, it's sometimes easier said than done. I mean, yeah. I still have the same emotions that everybody else has. Mm. And so I don't believe in necessarily having to change myself because those emotions are very helpful for us in life in yeah. any of it. But I suppose it, it's a little bit like Mark Douglas's book, Trading in the Zone. It's like when we go to work, we've got a certain mindset. Mm. And with trading, it's the same. Mm -hmm. And so it's, it's, it's again reminding ourselves that the emotion that I'm experiencing is really coming out of what? An expectation. Right. That, that's all it could be. And so I was explaining in there, what, what's the mindset of, of uh, at the casinos? What's the mindset of a bookmaker? What's the mindset of an insurance company? Uh, they don't have an emotional yeah. roller coaster yeah. at all. Yeah. Why? Because they know they've got an edge and all that they need is to have that knowledge and that's what we need. Wow. If we truly know we've got an edge, why would we have emotion? That's true. But we might have a little, yeah, little, a little bit. excitement and <laughs> disappointment. That's allowed. But not enough to, to take over the situation. Well, that's it. it it's, I, I think the more you trade skillfully, the adverse effect of emotions mm -hmm. becomes less and less. Yeah. So they're still there, yeah. but they don't adversely affect us. That's great. They don't prevent us from taking the trade or exiting or really applying our trading plan. That's great. So we have um, Lee coming up with us a little later. Um, Daryl, I believe this is the last 
time you speak with us this year. But you'll be back again next year, of course. Uh, absolutely. And of course, everybody can meet you throughout the year anyway when you're doing the training workshops and everything moving forward. Yeah, look, I, I, next year I think uh, there's an evolution. I'm certainly uh, looking to do some webinars so people oh, will good. be able to see me. See, a lot of people can't come to the workshops. And uh, so this is a nice evolution to, an, to bring really workshops to everybody. Oh, that's awesome. That's great. Yeah. So guys, that's it from me and Daryl. Like I said, we've got Lee coming back um, after this. He's talking on what's in store for commodities in 2012. So again, make sure that you stay with us and that's all for now. Thanks, Daryl.